Hey guys, you're welcome back to my channel, the Anato Tech channel, where we talk about tech, different things tech. I teach various things tech here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can generate a free SSL certificate for your uh, domain. Right. Specifically, this will be very helpful for people who use uh, Namecheap and uh, some of the domain registers that do not allow the free SSL. That's the one offered by Zero SSL on their websites. Now, Zero SSL is a free SSL provider that powers, as you can see, over three million websites. It's like let's inscript, but I like Zero SSL because the method of using it is quite straightforward compared to what you have on um, on let's encrypt so i prefer using zero ssl and uh, the site that makes it quite simple and straightforward to do this is called ssl for free you can see the website here is www.sslforfree.com now there are some domain providers that allow you to use something like let's encrypt or zero ssl straight out of the box you know they allow you to just use it but for site like Namecheap because it's part of their business um, it's part of how they make money for their business they don't allow you to just go ahead and do that unless you follow some manual technical ways to do that as you can see I have a website here that is showing not secure so uh, it's a HTTP currently there is no HTTPS on it so for example if I try clicking a story on this blog um, it's most likely going to tell me that the site is not secure. Okay, this one got opened, uh, but the, the, the normal thing will be it will tell me that this, and of course, when some people come to the site, it will tell them the domain is not secure. Probably uh, it's not showing this because of the catching done on my browser because it's not the first time of me visiting the site or something else. Okay, let's go to the main thing. How do I go ahead and provide SSL? You know, SSL is the security standard uh, for. Our uh, website is a protocol that provides security to our site. So if your website has something like entering of credit card details or people putting in any of their data, it gives extra confidence that that data is secure, that the site is secure. So without it, your site will keep getting that annoying prompt, giving users that annoying prompt that your site is not secure and they will most likely not have the confidence to go ahead with your site. So if you come over to this website, it's called SSL for free. Um, that's come what you all you need to do is put in your domain as you can see I've put in my own domain here it's just get.com and I'm going to say create free SSL now if you're a new person you can go ahead and sign up the sign up is very straightforward it's just an email and password and you are signed up but because I have an account already I'm going to click on login and you can see my email and password is here so I'm going to click on login all right now i'm here on the dashboard all i have to do is to go ahead if they have a premium package you can do that but i prefer this the free because we are doing free stuff today the free one is is restricted to every 90 days so if you're doing this free method you have to set a reminder maybe using your google calendar or any other calendar set a reminder that at the end of every 90 days you will have to come and do this again regenerate a new certificate and go ahead and use it now what do i do now i'll go ahead and create a new certificate um there is this option here it says i need a wild card certificate is a pro so if you want to go pro good if not i'm going to enter my domain this gate that's from so you can see it's going to generate um, SSL for gisgate.com alone and then www.gisgate.com. And all I have to do is click on next step. You can see it's asking me for one year certificate, which you require me to pay for pro or 90 days certificate. It's, it's a whole three months. So all I have to do is do this uh, three times, four times in a year, and I'll have SSL all through the year. All right. So I'll click on next step. I selected 90 days. You can see that is marked. I'll allow you to auto generate this CSR. All right, so I'll just leave this. And then here you can see it's selected on the free one. You can go ahead and select this one if you want. If you want this or this, that's yours to choose. But for me, I just want the free stuff. So I'm going to click next step because it's selected already. Now it's going to uh, walk, do its workings and you can see your certificate has been created and it's ready for domain verification. Now the first step we have done is to um, create the certificate. Next is for us to link it up to our domain. So what am I going to do? It's there are three ways provided here to verify your domain because you can't just generate uh, SSL for any website and then use it there. So you just have to prove that you are the actual owner of the domain. So there are three different ways you can use. 
Um, you can use email verification. You can use DNS uh, CNAME. You can use HTM, HTTP um, file upload. The best, you can also look at here. You can click on this. You see, if you do this, they've made these things quite simple. There's instructions on how to do this. There are instructions on how to do this. So for me, I preferred one of email verification because all I have to do is just go to my C panel, go to the emails, go to my emails, um, and then use one of the emails I have generated from my account and use it to verify this. Of course, if you know how cPanel works, you know that uh, on your cPanel, if you own the domain, you log into your cPanel, you'll see that under your cPanel, you will have for name cheap at least, all right? And also for most um, the domain name providers I know, you, they have free email, email um, accounts. All right, like here you can see I have an email account. So if I click on email accounts, I have various emails I've created previously. If you don't have, just click on this create and follow the prompts to create an email and a password. It's quite straightforward. If you have any issues, you can of course chat the name chip or your domain provider's uh, customer service to put you through. But the main thing is I have my emails. I have admin at gsk.com. So I want to use that. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to go over back to here and I'm um, actually I want to use email verification so I'm just going to click here so when I click it there are actually options already available all right so you can see it's kind of generated various um, options which are usually the admin emails that you will find in any domain so we have admin at gsgate.com I have administrator hostmaster if you don't have any of this let's say your 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 domain is at google.com. So, and it's, it's asking you for admin at google.com and you don't have it. All you have to do is just go back to your cPanel and create that email address, then come back here and continue. So I'm going to go ahead with this admin at gsgate.com because it's already existing. It says after, ex after selecting an email, click next step. So all I'm going to do is click on next step and it says um, gsgate.com email verification to start click Verify the message verification method. Congratulations, your SSL certification is en route. However, you need to verify ownership of your domain before installing your certificate. Please follow uh, the steps below. So I'm going to click verify. Just allow it to load. Now you can see it says an email with a verification link has been sent for each of the domains in your certificate. So what do I need to do? I have to go back to my C panel and then I'll go to my inbox, so I'm going to do check mail from my C panel, and then it's going to open me to my web mail login. And I'm just going to, you know, open my inbox using round cube. I could use Hodge, but I'm just going to use round cube. I click open, and you can see I now have the have my inbox here. I'm going to reload. Um, you see, you can see here I've done this before. These are previous emails. Um, zero SSL and you can see after reloading a couple of times by clicking the inbox a couple of times I have my I have my email verified domains here so I'm going to open that email it says we have received a request to issue SSL certificate to the following domains to verify ownership of your domain please use the link below to navigate to our verification page and enter the verification key I'm gonna copy this verification key right so I can click on this go to verify page I right click and open it in a new page and you can see uh, domain control validation part two. So I'm going to paste my verification code and click on next. It says, thank you, you have entered the correct domain control validation code. Your certificate will now be issued an email to you shortly. Please close this window. I can now close this window. I'm going to come back here and refresh. It says, congratulations, your, e your domains have been verified. As soon as our system has issued your certificate, you can download and install it on your server. Please click install certificates to continue all right so next i'm going to click on install certificates it says your certificate is compatible with any type of web server download your certificate right away to make or make a selection below to get instructions and tutorials all right so default formats there are different formats here but all i'm going to do is just download the certificate as in zip save it under my downloads and i'm going to open the file now you can see when i open the file let me extract everything I'm using Windows, so if you're using a Mac, everything should be straightforward anyway. So I'm just going to extract the files. And you see I have three files here. I have CA bundle certificates and I have private. Okay, so beautiful. I'm just going to minimize this, close this one, minimize this. I'm going to click on next step here. 
It says follow the steps below. Download your certificate using the button above. Need help installing? Follow these tutorials. Install directly. Check installation. Installed already. Check installation. So now I have to go back to my C panel on uh, Namecheap. Make my installation using the files provided, and then I can come here and check my installation. So how do I do that? I have to come over to my C panel again. I'm done with the email part, so I'm, I'll click on this square set of buttons here. And then I'll go come over to security, all right? Under security, I'll go to SSL slash TLS. I'm going to click that. So you can see various options here about different things. But what I need to do here is to install and manage SSL for my site, HTTPS. So I'm going to click on that. All right. Now, when I click on that, there are a lot of things being said here. So it's advisable that you go ahead and read all those up. But then for the sake of time, I'm going to come here to the domain and I'll click on this. And then I'll scroll down. The main domain that I need here is this, gisgate.com. All right. So that's the one I need. Now, all I have to do is remember those three, three files that came with the download of my certificates. I need to open this. As you can see, there's a CTR. All right. Certificates here. And then there's a private key. And then there's a certificate authority bundle, CA bundle. All right. So what do I need to do now? I click in my certificates, CRT space, and I'll come over to here. This is the certificate. I need to right click this and I'm going to use open with, um, choose another app I'm using windows. So I'm going to use notepad to open this. It's asking me if I want to open. Yes, I want to open. So I've used notepad to open this. And all I have to do is control A, copy, come to my certificate. That's CT, CRT. Remember, I'll paste that there. All right, you can see it has given me some instructions here about uh, the domain, the domains that I'm certifying for, who is providing it, zero SSL, the keys, and uh, expiration is August 22. You can see all that beautiful information showing me everything I need to know about this. All right, next I go to come over back to here. The private key is this. So I'm going to right click the same thing, open with, no, I'm going to choose another app and I'm going to use notepad to open that too. And all I have to do is, Control all and copy or command all and copy and then I'll paste it here and I'll click out, click in my certificate authority bundle. That's the last part of it. I'm going to close this because I'm done with that and I'm going to go over to this place. Remember the last thing I need to do now is this CA bundle, right? Click it also open with notepad. All right. Open. If I'm asked any question, click copy everything and then come over to here and paste it. Once I'm done, I click on what? Install certificate. And now it's installing and voila! It says you have successfully updated the SSL website certificate. The SSL website is now active and accessible via HTTPS on your domain, uh, gisgate.com. Also support this domain, www.gisgate.com. So I'm good. I'm good. All I have to do is click OK. Boom. And I'm done. I'm done. Now, beautifully, when you come here under the list, you can now see that gisgate.com is and www.gisgate.com are both certified with SSL. So all I have to do now is come over back to my uh, SSL for free dashboard and I can now click check installation and boom. Oh, it looks like your certificate has not been installed yet. Please check for errors and try again. Okay, I'm going to check again. And now it says installation complete. And that is all. That is all, guys. That is all. I hope you love this video. I hope it's been able to help you. It's pretty long because it just couldn't be shorter. One last thing before you go. Now, if you check my domain now, gisgate.com, now that we are done. Remember previously when you check here, it will tell you that the domain was not secure. Let me show you an example. Previously, not secure. It's written here boldly. So when you click on this, it's going to show you your connection to this site isn't secure, which is a red flag. But now that we are done, you can see that here, when I click on it, connection is secure. Now, something to note, right? If, for example, on my browser, because of the catching issue, you know, the fact that your browser catches information and keeps it so that the site loads faster and all those things. After you finish doing your SSL stuff, your verified, if you reload your site on the same browser immediately, it might still be showing you not secured. So don't 
use that to feel that it's not done. And even if you go ahead and open the site on an incognito tab on the same browser, you might still get the same stuff, at least for the next one hour or two hours. So what you have to do is you either clear the cache of the browser, or if you just need to verify that this has been done, you just open a different browser. As you can see, I was using Google, um, Microsoft Edge when I did this stuff, but now to show you that what I've done has been verified, you can see I opened the site on I open the sites on uh, you know on Google Chrome is showing site secure, but never mind. When you after a while, the information will be updated, and then when you reload the page on your on your previous browser you use, for example, my Edge, you will see secured here, or you just see that a padlock sign. Follow me on social media handles at Anato Tech, both on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and any other place that you can. Thank you for watching, share this video, recommend it to other people, and let me know what you think in the comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe. Then, and also if you wanna buy me a coffee, um, make sure you check the description panel, I've dropped a link on how to buy me a coffee um, for this awesome